Hey guys, Decav13 here. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Rune Factory 5. Alright. So it's nighttime now. Let's go see Scarlet continue her story. Shall we go? You've arrived. Good. Then let's begin our patrol. <clears throat> Good evening. Thank you for your cooperation in this matter. Oh, what's that? Tanked your coat operation with a hatter. Right. Nothing's out of the ordinary here. Wow, he just completely ignored how badly Derek misheard her. Guess that counts as ordinary for him. Thank you. Understood. Thank you for your report. Good evening. Have you noticed anything unusual? We heard what sounded like a howl, but nothing else seemed out of place. I see. If you spot the monster, don't try to be a hero. Please run and inform the nearest ranger. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Ah, uh, we'll be just fine. Even if the monster does attack us, I'm sure Reinhardt could handle it. Oh? I'll gladly step aside and let you have the glory if you like. Hold on a second. Oh, don't give me that. I'm the brains of the operation. I don't do brawn. Surely. Come now, sir. You needn't be so humble. Oh, well. See that? He picks on a guy all while smiling that sunny smile. What's even stranger is that it doesn't even come off as mean-spirited at all. For such a young fella, you're pretty well-versed in human relations. Hmm. Come on, let me in on your secret. Who are you, really? What is it? I'm a humble servant, nothing more. But never mind that. Shouldn't we return to our patrol? <laughs> With a detective for his partner, Reinhardt has got his work cut out for him tonight. All this patrolling and still no sign of any monster. The town is safe. For now. Guess no news is good news. Everyone can rest easy. At least for tonight. Today's peace was bought and paid for by the, by the good hearts of yesterday's war. Another saying from your dad? No. No. That's something my late mother once told me. Never take peaceful times for granted. Remember that those who struggled and sacrificed before us made our tranquil days possible. My mother passed away when I was still young. I don't remember much about her except for the one lesson she had enough time to teach me. My respect for father, my desire to join seed, it all stems from what mother told me when I was a child. That's some really important advice advice that made you the woman you are today. Yes. My apologies. That was a needless tangent. Apparently spending time with you not only dulls my focus, but also loosens my tongue. Honestly. <laughs> I'll have to stay on guard around you. Hey, I don't really think that's fair. Still, she's loosening up. I guess that means she's starting to trust me? Anyway, let's get back to bus business and make one last loop. Stay alert for anything unusual. Good day, John. Hey, it's probably a good idea to keep up the extra patrols for a little while. Yes. Agreed. No rest until we've gotten to the bottom of this. I'm sure the townsfolk are feeling anxious. We'll rendezvous at my place tomorrow at 10 p.m. sharp. Alright, so that's when that event picks up again. 10 p.m. sharp, she says. It's there a whole hour early. Alright, so we'll get to sleep, start up tomorrow. I don't expect this one's gonna be a terribly long video. Cause I just wanna go around and say hi to everyone like I usually do. How's our little town today? Oh. Uh, then we'll say hi to everyone. Then we'll uh, go off and finish that dungeon that I was in. <laughs> uh, I made some new weapons. I made these wind edges. 
Oh, they're they're strong. Oh, more more than twice. Well, actually, I think a little less than twice as powerful. Still, regardless, it's much more powerful than uh, the old ones. Oh, strawberries. Oh, and the sword and shield flower are ready to harvest too. I was wondering when those were gonna finish up. All right. Let me just accept these requests before I do that. That way, I don't have to grow them again. Sword flower, shield flower. At base, what is their stuff? Hmm. 215 and 48 for a short sword. It's not bad. And it really doesn't have any abilities. The magic plant shield. I'll probably just ship these. Oh, hey, levelizer. Eh, I'll drink it. Let's dig it. Nice. Oh, just some recover, low-level recovery potions. We get started on some of that other stuff too. I was gonna say that charm blue one as well. I don't know when everything's gonna be ready. I really have to worry about making money from crops anymore. I have a good way of uh, sustaining myself. Just gotta go hunt uh, toxic mucks because they drop monarch mushrooms, which you can sell, just sell for ten thousand G. It's actually not that rare of a drop, really. All right, all right. And you get a bunch of holy spores while you're at it too. There, there. There, there. So it's very, very well worth it. Right. I was about to say, where the fuck is my buffalo? There, there. There, there. There, there. I guess I got it. Alright, let's get all this cleaned up. Yes! Here. I'm surprised not that much is spawning up here compared to down below.
Oh my god, I'll for it. wait for them to load in. I don't know why that's a problem when I'm coming out into Rigbarth. Everything needs a second to load in. No, I will say, if this game does get a re-release on other consoles, which I think it probably will, I'm definitely going to pick it up again. I think definitely something holding back this game is the performance issues. Because even though I don't really care about them that much, I mean, I'm still having fun with the game. I'm having a blast. But, you know, I, I can see why the performance issues would turn someone off. Because they are uh, very bad. Yeah, they, they, they didn't, like, optimize this shit at all. Um... But yeah, no, if they, if they do end up pre-releasing this game, I will more than happily uh, buy it again. Because I greatly enjoy it. No, oh, I thought that was a... bigger rock. this, uh, these materials we just got away. Go around and say hi to everyone. Then we'll head on back over to the dungeon. Finish that up. Oh, right. Put the strawberry seeds away. <laughs> Silly me. So we'll start from the top and go down. Uh, I want to check. I still have a ring in my inventory, right? Yes, I do. side start at Palmos. I was like, ah, after playing for so long, I've definitely developed the path of uh, where to go every day. How do you do? Um. Hey, quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little nap after I because I, I don't I don't want to record a lot today like I, I really want to play a lot more of this game but I really should get to recording what I already do have because it, it's already piling up so much yeah because I like another thing too uh when the when I'm recording this, this is the day after the uh, the Kaito Files DLC came out for uh, Lost Judgment, so I, I got to get on that soon too. I wanted to wait until I finished Rune Factory Five to do that, so that, that's going to be a bit of a wait. Fascinating, is it not? Wait before Hines leaves. Oh, well, uh... oh right. 
He's not working right now, so I can't check the inventory. <laughs> I trust the baths were yeah. open. Hina. You see. <laughs> now right off to run to the general store. Okay. Alright, and then we're there goes the candelabra. So I gotta backtrack anyway. Uh, why you gotta why you people gotta move around right now? Can't wait until I'm done. Jeez, the, the nerve people having lives. <laughs> so, what am I out there, Ron? A lot of fours. Five with Martin. Five with Riker. Three, I'm still three with Lucas. Lucas Randolph. Well, Randolph's about to hit four. Rodea's about to hit two. Doug's about to hit four. Margaret, two. Alright. Well, I'm getting closer to everyone being at five. Rodea is probably going to be the one that takes the most work, so I actually have to start giving her gifts to catch her up to everyone else. She did indeed go inside Crystalabra. So let me just head back over there and say hi to her real quick before we move on to the general store. I thought I saw something in the trees, but no, that that was just the roof of the flower shop. Because I, I, I found that uh, if you look up in some of the trees along the road, in uh, the forest woodlands, you can actually find fruits. Like oranges and apples. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty interesting. Luca likes fish. entire recording. I should buy some recipe bread, too. I don't know what I want to buy, though. Well, cooking bread, definitely. Let me get three cooking breads. I'm not gonna crafting bread. Even though I don't think I can learn anything from crafting bread still. Gotta get my crafting level up. I mean, that, that shouldn't be terribly difficult since I have the uh, heart pendant now. Oh, grape juice, ice cream, fruit juice, butter, apple juice, fruit smoothie. Eh, not bad recipes. What? 
Actually, I didn't talk to Yuki, did I? Lose that little tiny bit of health. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, I must have gained some max HP. Huh? <laughs> it's a shame you have the money to replace plates. <laughs> Oh, Elsha. She really is just laziness personified. It's a shame she couldn't be a marriage candidate. I might have gone for her. <laughs> eh, knowing me, I probably still would have gone for Luna. Feeling well? I'm just gonna say hi to yeah Terry after this. So I just warp over to the plaza instead of walking all the way over there. Hey, look at toy herb. You just get free toy herbs outside of Ludmilla's shop. She likes those, so really, it's just super easy. Cards, huh? <laughs> yeah, that. All right, that's why. <laughs> All right, woman. All right, well, here. Oh my gosh! What's a girl to do? <laughs> oh, she gave me some yellow grass. Alright, so I guess when you give Ludmilla, uh, stuff, I guess she gives you, like, plants. Yeah, I only know what, uh, I only know what three people give you now if you give them homemade stuff. Because I know, uh, I saw two in a video. That was, uh, Terry and Derek. Derek gives you weapons. I think axe-type weapons. And then Terry will give you accessories. That, like I said, that's how I got my heart pendant. And then Ludmilla will give you, uh, plants. I'm sure there's a chance of, just, if, of them mm. being rare plants, too. Just like with Terry's, because a lot of the time from him I'd get, like, the cheap bracelets or maybe silver bracelets. He would give me some necklaces a couple times. Uh, like... Ones that increase the power of my uh, farm tools, ones that increase the power of my followers, like, he gave some good accessories, honestly. Alright, uh, let me go heal up first, get my RP back, and then we will head on over to Thundering Wastes and finish that up. Oh, yeah, I'll put that crafting bread away, too. Alright, let's see. Grab some toasts. Time to eat. And let us head on over to the third floor of Thundering Way. Hmm. Just before I do that, because there's not a save point for the boss. Let me save here first. <laughs> then we will head on over to Thundering Wastes. You know, like a smart person. Here we go. Oh. Well, this is truly a spectacular sight. I have never seen such intense lightning. 
Hmm. This should give me quite a shock to my system. Uh -huh. Oh? Take a look. Look, that monster was transformed by a lightning strike. How fearsome. Fascinating. How very Not fascinating. Lucas! Lucas, this is no time to be taking notes. Lucas! Ah, now hmm. I remember. That reminds me. We came here so that I could remember how to use my powers. Um, if you're already forgetting what just happened, then we're gonna need a bigger storm. Come on. Hey, we don't have time for this. Oh, that actually worked? Alright, I got a strange tentacle. Oh yeah, darkness. My dark magic is definitely the way to go with this fucking thing. Medusa. Holy shit. I got my defense up at least. Somehow able to avoid that shit. It definitely leaves it open. Leaves itself open to capture quite a bit. Ow, ow, ow. Rest is on you, Lucas. I'll be able to absorb as much lightning as my heart desires. Or at least as much as it can take. Come, divine fire! Pierce my form with bolts of light! How you doing? Whoa. You alive? Ah, now I, I remember. remember. Huh? You do? Yes. Yes, I will show you. Oh, farm dragon. Take a look. Look. Well, well. There's a farm dragon here. Uh, um, that is your big revelation? Just so. Lucas. Um, I'm grateful that we met a farm dragon. But please, please try to remember how to use your power. I remember that too, of course. Yeah, you could have led with that. Thanks to the lightning, I have regained much of my lost power. Let's give it a whirl. Now what to do? Where do you want to go? To the top of the clouds, over the desert east of Rigbarth. Very well. Understood. Wait a second. Can you go to Rigbarth? I'll meet you there later. Sorry about that. Thank you. Alright, let's do this. Yes. Your wish is my command. One, 
Wow. Cloudheim. Um, did we... Oh, yo, there's Ellie leaves here. Do we make it? Are we really up in the sky? Indeed. So it would seem. And what's more? <laughs> we can walk atop the clouds. Most intriguing. It's fluffy underneath my feet, and the sun's rays feel pleasantly warm. I must admit, take note of this. Is that the castle? It's pretty far away from here. It looks heavily defended. Lucas! Well, let's go back to Rigbarth. Are you certain? Yes. Yeah, I'm not prepared for a fight like this. That is... Which means that once you've made your preparations, you'll return to this place. That's right. When the time comes, can I ask for your help again? <sighs> hmm. In that case... Huh? A gate? Just so. Some something like that. With this, you can return here whenever you like. This is bad. There's a barrier up, up here that can detect magic. <laughs> then there's nothing to worry about. My power is divine. It cannot be detected by mortal means, no, no matter how magical. That doesn't seem to have raised any alarms. Lucas is telling the truth. Is something wrong? You're staring at me. Uh... You really are a god. Yes. Yes, as I've been saying. After all this time, you've made a believer out of me. Seeing is believing, I suppose. Now then, let us return to Rigbarth. Eh, b bona fide genuine god over here. We've arrived. I'll leave the gate around here. Thank you very much. Thank you for everything. There's no need for that. The shocks to my system I've received since meeting you are thanks enough. Call on me again any time you have such stimulating work. <laughs> oh, hey, Radaya. Did you figure something out? Yes! Yeah. Lucas opened a gate to the cloud top. So that's where the gate came from? That's right. Mm hmm? Hmm. Oh, right. I need to report back to the field captain. Huh? Huh, John, you look cheerful. Well? Did you manage to reach the top of the clouds? Yes. Yes, thanks to some divine intervention. Huh? Yeah? Divine what now? Divine intervention. I'm talking about Lucas. Mm -hmm. oh. Seems I've worked you too hard. Hey! Take a break, John. That's not it. Hey, I'm not delirious or anything. Come on. Besides, there's no time to rest. I've got too much to do. How's our little town today? Alright, now we can go to Cloudheim. Oh, wow. Goddamn, is... I wonder... Would these clouds go away at some point and then... Open up it. Oh, no, no, no. Although it does look like there's something beneath the clouds, though. Doesn't it? It's like a little bit over here. Or maybe it's just more mountains. I think that's just me wishfully thinking that maybe there's some more. <laughs> uh. Oh, let me go fucking take a bath first before I start doing anything. I am super out of RP.
fucking Medusa really took it out of me, huh? I don't have to look at that tentacle I got from it. Slimy tentacle, still soft from retaining moisture. Gross. Oh, attack plus eight. Oh, it's a string type material. I'll go through the gate. Well, I mean, I have to go through the gate. Because I can't warp there yet. I assume. Silver ore, because I do need more silver. Especially if I only want to make more rings for Ludmilla. Actually. Yes! Alright! Yeah, might as well. Couldn't die because it was trapped on the cloud. There's a fucking pond up here. Right. Oh, there's the blessed how. Oh, woolly king. Oh, 
No. Why did his attack dizzy me? Finally, finding little dragons. Ah, there's a dragon fang. spell. Vortex of wind around yourself. Holding down the button extends the duration of the spell, turning into a gale force tornado that sucks in enemies and sends them flying. That might be useful too if I want to keep things away from me. I think I might want to stick with darkness for now. I don't know, ever, ever since I found darkness, I've just loved using this fucking spell. Sucks that I don't really have any ranged attacks equipped. But you know. Look. I was hitting A, so why wasn't I going on the cloud? Oh, cool, Gigantes. Take that! Right! First floor of Cloudheim done. Oh yeah, there's there's a boss up. Hmm, I, I wonder if there's a boss up there. That giant fucking staircase. Check that. that that seems nice. like a bit of a weird, weird uh thing for me to say, huh? <laughs> These aren't the insta kill ones. I don't like that evil penguin though. Oh, that does heal them. Fortunately, these guys are immune to ailments. Oh, these are Fausts. this invisible chest, which is a s Oh, a double steal! Yo! Spin seeds, too. Holy shit, double steal. That's a rare item. Mm 
doubles the effect of the material used to previously reinforce it. That's a really good find. Pretty sure there's not. An I know there's an enemy that drops a uh, double steel and ten gold steel. Oh, I think that's it. That that little guy right there. Yeah. Depending on how many times you hit him, he'll drop uh, either double steals or tenfold steals. So that w if you fold, I know there's a trick with that. It's every time you hit him, not how many times, not how much damage you do. There's a trick that you can make your weapons deal one damage. I think if you forge them with like the special scrap metal you can get by just random, by just repeatedly uh, processing scrap metal through forging. But if you keep doing that, you'll get uh, a special scrap iron if you merge that with one of your weapons or upgrade it. Uh, that weapon will permanently just do one damage, and that's how you get a bunch of double and tenfold steals from that little gem squeak. Oh, I didn't even see this gate here. Get off me, clouds. Oh, oh that's a regular-ass golem. Ow. Oh, that must be another gem squeak down there. Oh, another treasure chest. 8,000 G and a levelizer. Yeah, that, like I said, that, that has to be another gem squeak. So I guess you get one spawn down here. And then one up there, too. Okay, I guess it I guess that gem squeak must have despawned or something. Since I walked away from the area. It it I guess it has a chance of spawning from this gate here. Oh, is this one dude? Take that! Oh I see. Take that! Kind of a dick move, beam of light. All that for what, some grilled skipjack? The fuck is that massive fucking fish? Toria! Hope I get a bite. Oh, a Throbby Snapper. Massive one. <laughs> Alright. I was hoping it would be another Glittering Snapper, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I still have more toast. Good. Time to eat! Pink hat seed. Oh, this looks like a fun one. Oh, I don't need both of them coming over here. What the hell was that? Oh, some... <laughs> There's just fake green peppers hanging out around here. Do, do you think I'm that stupid? Oh, 
There's really not much they can do to me when they're silenced. At least I got a green pepper out of it. Yo, Rune Crystal, holy shit. Magic data plus 100. Damn, that's a that's a good ass find. No random monsters wanted to spawn over here. That's strange. get skill ups by attacking these clouds that's pretty cool I think I've gotten all the uh, top level tools. That's pretty good. Oh, I gotta go down there next. There's a light gate. I at least have dark match to deal with that. Oh, what a, what a what a hellish assortment of enemies. They're like dark element. Why the fuck can you use uh I don't need to fight these fucking things. Where'd the Fausts go? Nice. 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 Would the Faust just fuck off or something? Treasure chest. That's the last spawn. That's a new type. Take that! I guess that one can insta kill me. 
That one probably has faint attack on it. Or maybe just a different color. Usually things that have that black coloration to them have faint attack. So I prefer on, nice. to err on the side of caution with them. Dark Absorber. Ooh. Has a chance of absorbing damage dealt to foes as well. Hmm. This darkness was level three. How do I go about upgrading magic? I should look into that. It seems like it's kind of important. at the end of Cloudheim. Another type of basilisk. Oh, Ouroboros. All right, then just Ouroboros. Ah, uh, wait, berries beneath the clouds. Yeah, don't want to get hit by that. I'm assuming. Take that! <laughs> So that's actually a ranged attack. Kind of like Dark Sphere. Take that! Be better for me to just use darkness instead. Yeah, better for me to just use darkness. Honestly, it's better if I just cast darkness. That's like my best fucking attack. Ah, that's why I only hit once. I mean, th this isn't too bad. I, I kind of made the mistake of coming into this fight with a wind element weapon. So that kind of sucked. I think other than that... Alright, 
w one more cast. We'll do it. There we go. Easy. As long as you keep an eye on the bosses. Really not that difficult. Alright, now we can go to the Seed Floating Fortress as well. Since Ouroboros has been taken care of. The giant spell circle must be in here. Oh, with a bunch of seed agents. Fire! Whoa! Damn, I can't get any closer. Troops at the ready! Must be Gideon's personal guard. Whoa! Oh no! Cease fire! Said cease fire. Oh. Rodea? Hi, Rodea. You gonna take care of these guys? <laughs> you came! I'm going to save my strength until we reach Gideon. Surely is Captain Livia's little sister. She's right. The Warden is waiting for us. I have to stay focused. So this should be the final dungeon then. Uh, Rodea? Taking her own path. That reminds me of the field captain too. At the very least, now I can go inside the floating fortress. Alright. Oh, wow. This is... Certainly a room. Damn. So the only thing open to us is straight ahead. Oh, and there are the Lila. So would these give me the gold wolf sound? Or a crystal fragment. Some kind of wolf fang. It's over. Oh, razor fangs. Okay. Alright, uh yeah, I I definitely wanna save this for uh for a big uh final encounter. Holy shit, it's already ten o'clock at night, by the way. Hadn't even noticed. Uh so you know what, let's do Scarlet's next part next part of Scarlet's event. Then I think I'll call it a day. And I'm going to spend a bunch of time grinding. You know, I'll, I'll do the same thing I did before where I, like, uh, put together uh, other parts. Well, the uh, parts of these events. That's what I'm trying to say. Until I've done them all. Ah, I've been waiting for you. Tonight's just the two of us. I suggest splitting up to cover more ground. Understood.
peaceful night. Not seeing anything unusual at all. How Did you going? notice anything, John? Nope. Nothing out of the ordinary. You? Yes. Same here. No signs of a monster in town tonight. But come to think of it, weren't most of the sightings in this general area? Yeah, although anything that did come through left without a trace. Hmm. It's possible the creature we're looking for isn't a monster at all. Oh! Is it that cluckadoodle? Hey, little guy. Wait, there! What was that? The monster really did come down from the mountains. Let's be off then. We can't let, them th let, let that thing escape. Follow it. It's a cluckadoodle. What's it gonna do? It's a little baby. Well, that's weird. Cluckadoodles don't live over here. Pretty sure it ran off this way. Hines! Is that you, John? Hines? What the fuck are you doing out here with that cluckadoodle? What's wrong, John? Tell me you found it. There, Scarlet! I'll rescue him. Get down, now! No way. Whoa, stop! Wait just one turnip-picking minute. Hold your buff -a -moo. Lucky here wouldn't hurt a soul. Lucky? Don't tell me you gave that monster a name. Yup, sure did. I'm raising him out here. Also, he is my son. What? Raising a monster? What exactly is going on? <laughs> it's a long story. Why, telling the whole tale will take a thousand and one nights. Uh, Alright, well, how about, how about we just cut to the chase, Scheherazade? Summarize it. Well, what do you know? A while back, I'd got a bargain on the biggest egg I'd ever seen. How could I resist? It was one shell of a deal. And you know what they say? When life gives you a giant egg, make a giant omelet. I thought I could share it with everyone. By the by. But there was one itty bitty problem. I couldn't crack the shell. So I hatched up a new plan to make a giant hard boiled egg. I got cooking and turned up the heat. Then crack! What do you know? The egg hatched! There was Lucky. Out of the frying pan and into my life. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, let me tell you. <laughs> Honestly. This is no laughing matter. The entire town is on edge. Sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. Talk about getting egg on my face. But imprinting is a powerful thing. Guess Lucky thought I was his mama, because he just wouldn't leave me be. I couldn't have been in Little Muffing after hearing him peep and cheep at me. So I thought I'd raise Lucky until he could survive on his own. By the bar. But the longer I took care of him, the harder it became to let go. Before I knew it, Lucky had grown so big that I couldn't keep him a secret anymore. At that point, even I knew the time had come. Shedding many a tear, I led Lucky back up the mountain to set him and set him free. I thought that was the end of that, but even monsters feel lonely. That's why Lucky keeps coming down the mountain to see his mama Hines. Well. Still, I can't exactly take him into town, no matter how gentle he is, so I've been holding our family reunions out here. Hmm. I see. Just to confirm, this creature presents no danger to people. My son is completely harmless, I guarantee it. In fact, I'd highly suggest giving him a hug. It's wonderfully soothing. If that's the case, then I see no need to put this creature down. It's lived near town long enough to grow to this size without causing any damage. No harm, no foul. I'll report this to Captain Livia and let her know that our work here is done. Why, thank thank you. you. Don't worry. Mama Hines will make sure Lucky knows that coming into town is a big no-no. Thank you. Please do. For its sake and ours. Well, 
Well, all's well that ends well. I finally go back to getting a good night's sleep. Yes. True. Although I will miss our evening patrols. Huh? Um, nothing. You are dismissed for tonight. Please go home and rest. I'll report this to the field captain first thing in the morning. Thanks. You get some rest too, okay? If you'll excuse me. I will. Good night. Alright, I might as well just go and finish this off then. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be one thing in the morning. What the hell? That's a uh, new King's game. All right, uh, I guess I'll be detailing. I, I, I guess we finished up with that one, and now we're in a different side story. Okay, uh, I guess we'll be playing the King's game. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Gonna be another mashup episode where I'm just uh, doing a bunch of different events. Uh, maybe we'll do a story. Who knows? Uh. But yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye!